hello everyone and welcome back to our channel this video is a tutorial on doodle for beginners in this video we will talk about doodle its features and membership plans we will show you the sign up and account setup processes as well we will also show you how to connect your calendar how to create a booking page how to create a poll and how to create a one-to-one -one meeting as well on this platform there's a lot going on here, so make sure you're sticking till the end. Let's begin with a short introduction to Doodle. Doodle is nothing but an online scheduling tool for the fastest and easiest way to schedule anything. That is, you can schedule meetings or get together with your team for collaboration purposes, anything. Now, let's see what kind of products does this platform provide. For that, click on product on the top navigation bar. And you can see there are four main products on Doodle. The first is booking page, then is one-on-ones, then group polls, and then there is integrations. If you click on use cases on the top navigation bar, you can see there are these many options. The platform is applicable for recruiting, sales, board meetings, freelancers and consultants, education, nonprofit, and enterprise. If you click on professional, you can see that these are the different applications or type of people that can use Doodle. First is individuals, then is teams, and then is the enterprise level application. Now let's look at the pricing and membership plans of Doodle. For that, click on pricing on the top navigation bar and you will be taken to this page where all the plans are mentioned. If you toggle between these two, you can see that the billing when it is done yearly has a discount of up to 55% than compared to when it is billed monthly. So there are four plans on Doodle. The first is obviously the free plan and it is for individuals who are just getting started with seamless scheduling and underneath it you get only one user and these features. Then comes the most popular plan on the platform which is the pro plan for professionals who want an automated scheduling solution. It is available at $14.95 per user per month for one user and you get all these features. Then comes the team plan for teams who need increased productivity and collaboration online. It is available at $19.95 per user per month. And it is for 5 users minimum. You can add users as well. You get all the features that you get in the pro plan and then there are some additional features as well. Lastly is the enterprise plan which is for enterprises and very large teams. And to know its pricing you simply need to contact the sales team. We're going ahead with the free plan, so just click on sign up over here. So this is the sign up page of Doodle. You can see that you can either use your email over here or you have all these options. You can use your Google account, Apple account, Facebook account or Microsoft account. We're going ahead with the email option. So just type in your email address here and click on create account. In the next step, you will need to give in your name and put in a password. Tick mark this box over here to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy and then click on create account. The next step is to choose any one option for your calendar. You can connect your Google calendar or else your Office 365 calendar which we are going to do in some time. So we are going to click on do it later. Now this will take you to your dashboard. So this is basically your dashboard but to do anything you first need to verify your email so go and check your email now this is the email that you will get and all you need to do is click on this button that says confirm account and once you have done that then you'll be again taken back to your dashboard so let's quickly do a walkthrough of what's there on the dashboard on the top right corner you can see this is your profile so if you click on it you've got all these options that is dashboard account settings and help and support and as well as the logout button so if you click on create over here, you have these options, which is group poll, one is to one, which is for pro members and booking page. So these are the three things you can create using Doodle. And these are the three things that you can see over here as well. Create a poll, create a one is to one and create a new booking page. First of all, let's go ahead and connect our calendar. To do that, you just need to click over here that says connect a calendar. And now it will take you to this section on the account page, which is a connected calendar section. And you can see there are two options over here. You can either connect your Google Calendar or your Office 365 Calendar. Let's demonstrate how you can connect your Google Calendar. For that, click on the connect button underneath it. Put in your email address. 
click on the next button then put in your password click on next again and then it will take you to this page where it will show you what all permissions are you going to give to Doodle. Now all you need to do is click on the allow button over here. So that has successfully authorized uh, Doodle to access your Google Calendar and you can see Calendar Connected. So under Connected Calendars you can see this is connected right now. Let's first go ahead and create a new booking page which is over here. So you just need to click on this button. To create a new booking page, you need to enter a few details. The first one is title. Let's create it for invitation. So give in a title and based on whatever title you give, the URL will be developed this way. You can give a description if you want. You can also enter a location. There is the option of video conferencing over here. If you switch it on, then you can see there is a drop down menu that comes up and you can do video conferencing through all these options for this particular page. So to whoever you're going to send this page link to, uh, they will be given the option to book like how many minutes do they want. So we need to set the events duration and availability. Now there are many options like you can see over here, how long should booked events be? Let's go ahead for the 15 minutes option. Then let's select the date range. Now, if you want to uh, have the future booking horizon selected, then you need to uh, select one of these options from the drop down menu over here. Or else you can add a custom date range like from when to when. We're going ahead with the future uh, booking horizon option. Then there is the when can participants book uh, section over here. Now you need to set your daily and hourly availability. You can add hours using this button. You can delete them by simply clicking this delete button and say that you want this event to be available only on Monday and Tuesday. You're setting the time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So people can take this event for 15 minutes as you've set it over here between these timings. And once you're done with setting up everything, you just need to go ahead and click on create booking page. Now link sharing is enabled as you can see over here. And if you click over here, you can share uh, this page that is this link with anybody simply click on copy link and then you can either email it with doodle or you can personally send it through any messaging application so if you want to see a preview of how the participants will see it when they get the invite then just click on the preview button and this is how it will be so they can select any like time slot whatever they want to because we have set 9 a.m to 5 p.m so they can select a time slot and enter this event so that's it about how to create a booking page. Now let's go ahead and see how to create a poll. For that, go back to your dashboard and click this button that says create poll. And then you'll be taken to a similar form like we had for the booking page. Give it a title and you can also give it a description. For this as well, video conferencing is there. Then comes the add your time section. So let's say if you're making it available for all day, it'll be available throughout. Like you can scroll down and see the calendar is over here. But if you want to give a specific timing, then you just select from 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. And then what you can do is you can select the particular time when this uh, poll can be taken. So we're just going ahead and selecting particular timings on different dates. Once you're done with all the settings, then click on create, invite and continue. So now your poll has been created. What you can do is click on preview if you want to see how the participants will be seeing it once they get the invite. So if somebody wants to uh, take part in it on this time slot, then they just need to click it like this or they can do it like this. So they have all these options. This is how they will get the invite for your poll. It will have all the details over here as well. So that was about creating a poll. The last thing you can do on Doodle is creating one is to ones, but that is only for pro members. So with this, we have come to an end of this tutorial on Doodle for beginners. We truly hope this video was helpful to you. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have any topic suggestions as well, do let us know that in the comment section. We will catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.